thing that interested me was two things. One, it was a genre that didn't exist. There's no genre. There's nothing to look at as a model. And uh, for me, that's heaven. And then certainly meeting Sam, I just liked her immediately and felt that it would be a fun project. Christian Gray. I'm Anastasia Steele. I only have 10 minutes. Please, have a seat, Mr. Steele. A lot of what the score is doing is what in the book might be narration. For example, in the office when they meet. In the book, she's thinking, oh my god, this guy is amazing. Now, the music has to do that in the film. You said you're an English major? Tell me, was it Charlotte Bronte, Jane Austen, or Thomas Hardy who first made you fall in love with literature? Hardy. It's telling us there's something going on there beyond this simple conversation they're having. I would have guessed Jane Austen. My approach to the score is very simple. I'm playing a theme that's just about Anastasia and Christian connecting. Always bringing them together, romance or not quite romance or sexual tension. It's a very, very simple score, but I would say by far the bulk of the score is a little dark. We should be talking. Like normal people? Yeah. In a romantic way, of course, dark meaning their inability to connect is where there might be darkness. Anytime you do something rhythmic and simple and you're kind of creating a pulse, that is for a composer relaxing. It's just about playing a tone that's consistent. So that is what makes it relaxing. I live in a really intense world and to do something that's actually pleasant and sometimes I'm working on a cue and it almost feels a little hypnotic and I'm enjoying it in a, in a different way. I don't get a chance to do that very often so I just appreciate it.